Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are carrying on from our record type video about contacts and we're going to look at creating a, another set of record types but this time for the opportunity which has a little bit of extra complexity. So to start with, uh, let's talk about why it has some extra complexity and the reason for this is that it has a sales path. All right, so if we open up an opportunity that we already have, you'll notice that it has this path here Okay, uh, going through these, these sections. And this path is, is very special, it's quite unique. Um, it's the same for a lead. If we open up a new tab with a lead, then you'll notice that there's a path in our leads as well. Um, and it's actually the same for cases too. I wonder if we've got some cases here. We do, let's open up some cases. These are all objects that are, are very special when it comes to record types because they have what's called a business process. Business process is this overarching term uh, for these paths, just for these particular objects, all right? Because you can actually create a path and put it on any object, but the opportunity and the lead and the case, they all come with a ready-made path, uh, and these are called business processes. So each of them has a specific name. Each business process has a specific name based on the object. Uh, for the case, this is called a support process. For the lead, um, it's called a lead process. And for the opportunity, it's called a sales process. All right, so here's our sales process. Here's our lead process. And, oh, maybe they don't have it in path form. Let's have a look. Here's the status here. Um, this is our, our support process. All right, they've chosen to just leave it as a pick list. I like the path, I think it's cool. Uh, we can also see these in setup. This is where it comes into play for our record types, is that when we go into setup, we actually need to be really careful about these um, because when we create a new, a new record type, one of the key reasons that you would create a new record type for one of these objects is because you want to have a completely different process. So if you want to have a different sales process for different types of opportunities, the only way that you can really do that is with a record type. If you want to have two different types of leads that have a different lead process, you're going to need to create a record type. And same with a case. If you want to have two different processes for cases, then you need to create a record type. So if you look up in here, uh, sales, <coughs> I think it's sales process. Yep, there you go. Sales processes. And maybe we can just look up processes and see what comes up. There you go. So we've got the lead process, which we just talked about, the sales process, and then the support process. Okay, those are the three that are, are important here. So let's say that we want to create a new type of opportunity. All right, we've got um, maybe B2B and B2C opportunities. So we do two different types of selling here. Um, and each of them has a completely different sales process. And we also want to show different fields. So we want to have a different page layout for these two types of opportunities. Let's see what's involved, hey? Um, the first thing that we need to do is go to our object manager. All right, open up our opportunity. And we want to make sure that we have those basic things that we need for creating a new record type. All right, we want to make sure that we have all the fields ready to go. So maybe we want to add some new, new fields, some for our B2B process, some for our B2C process. Um, maybe we need to have completely different, uh, a completely different sales process, which is this one here. So the way that we do that is we actually look up, I think it's called stage. There we go, stage, that's the one. And in our stage pick list, because this, this path here, it's based on a pick list. So this is it in path form. It's just a different visual way of showing it. Um, but this is it in pick list form. So you can see it's here as well, in pick list form. It's exactly the same, all right? But this is kind of nicer to look at. You know, it's just a bit more of a visual sort of way to see it. So we want to have a different one for our B2C and a different one for our B2B. So we go to the stage field here and you can see them all down here looking very nice. 
Um, maybe we want to add some new ones, so we can go in here and add some new values. Don't worry that you're adding all of them <laughs> um, in the same pick list, all right? That's okay. You would put all of your B to C stages and all of your B to B stages in the same pick list because when we go to create our sales process, we actually separate them out. So I might call this, um, let's see, what can I say? I'm not too sure what we've already got here. Qualification, needs analysis, value prop, decision makers, perception analysis. Gosh, it seems quite detailed already, doesn't it? Um, maybe we put uh, on hold. All right, that's probably quite likely for a B2B sort of business. And maybe this is like a 30% probability that we're going to close any that are on hold. Uh, so we will save that. And then maybe we want to reorder these a bit, see where they kind of end up, because at the moment our on hold is right at the end, which means that in our path, it would actually turn up at the end. So you probably want to reorder this, which we can do like this, reorder. And then just put it where it would be in your sales path and just ignore any values that aren't going to be there. So I'm going to put it probably before I close them. I can always go back then in my um, path and, you know, as a sales rep and move them that around. Um, awesome. So I've, I've added my values. That's the first step. Then I'm going to go into home and I'm going to search up my processes and I'm going to go into sales process because that's the one that controls our opportunity. All right, sales process. All right, after creating a new sales process, associate it with one or more record types. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're creating our sales process first, then we can create our new record types. So I'm going to go new sales process. Remember, there's already a master one. That's just the one that's already there. I'm going to call this B2B sales process. And I might say for selling to other businesses. And then in here, I'm going to choose what values I want from that big pick list. All right, so this has just pulled that whole entire list that we just added to in our fields and relationships. So I'm just going to kind of highlight everything and then remove it. And then I'm just going to add in the ones that I want for my B2B sales process. So I do want prospecting. Uh, let's have a look. I do want needs analysis, value prop, um, identify decision makers. That's quite important in B2B. Perception analysis, probably not. Um, proposal, price, quote, yes, that would be good. Negotiation review, and then on hold, close one. All right, so there's quite a lot going on for my B2B process, but that's okay. It does take a while sometimes. All right, then I'm going to create another one, which I will call my B2C sales process. All right, B2C sales process. All right, for selling to individual consumers. And then I'm going to do exactly the same and just choose the values that are relevant to me uh, for this particular process. I like to remove them all first and then add them back in. So I'm going to go prospecting. Uh, I might go maybe value prop. Um, propose. Maybe negotiation review. Yeah, we might go straight to negotiation review on hold and then close one, close lost. So I'm just making it a bit shorter for my B2C one. Obviously different for each company, so just choose what's relevant to you. But now I've got my two sales processes ready to go. I'm feeling pretty good about them. So I'm going to go back into my object manager. I'm going to go into my opportunity. And I just want to check my page layouts. All right, because I've done the sales process. Fantastic. Um, just like with our contact, I want to make sure that I've got two different page layouts. So I might just go new and then base this one on my opportunity layout, which I'll use for my B2C. I might use it on my B2C one and I might create a new one for my B2B um, opportunity page layout. 
right? And then save that one there. Now, as with our other page layouts, all right, you can remove things that aren't relevant to you. Uh, maybe primary campaign source, we might remove that. Um, I'm just removing a few things to kind of prove a point so that we can see a bit of a difference um, for when we open these up. And then that one, I'm just removing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, once you're happy with it, then you can go ahead and save it. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a good idea to add in that field about the record type. So handy so that you can see which is which. All right, uh, let's have a look. Field. Oh, we haven't created our record types yet. Never mind. Getting ahead of myself. Um, so we've got our sales process, we've got our page layouts, and then we can go ahead and create our record types. So I'm going to go to my record type here, go new, and set up my record type. So I'm going to call this one B2B um, opportunity record type, or B2B opportunity. I might just leave it at that. Uh, which sales process am I going to use? Here are our beautiful sales processes that we just created. This is why we need to do it in advance. It's my B2B sales process. Um, I would say for selling to other businesses. It's active. Who is it available to? Happy with that. Next. All right. Which page layout am I going to use? Again, this is why we create these in advance. Otherwise, you get to the stage and you think, oh, I don't have a page layout, I'm gonna to have to go back and create one. So you just create it straight away. And then I'm gonna go save and new and create my next one as well, which is for my B to C opportunity. I'm gonna base it off the same thing. B to C opportunity. All right, my sales process this time is the B to C sales process for selling to individual consumers. I'm gonna make it active make available. You can also decide if you want to make this one the default. Maybe it is the default, is to be a B2C one. And then next, all right, which page layout are you gonna use? Um, I'm going to use the normal opportunity layout. And then save. After this, you can go back and you can update your pick lists like we did in the contact video here. So you can choose which pick list values you want to have for each pick list, for your B2C or for your B2B. And then of course, because we're all getting sick of me saying this now, we're going to test it. All right, so do a refresh of your page, come into your app um, and give it a go. Put on your sales rep hat and let's have a see if this actually worked. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're coming up to our new button on our opportunity. And we should be greeted with a lovely kind of option of what we want to choose. B2C or B2B, awesome. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, let's go for my B2C one. I might say B2C test, all right, just to give it a, a go. Make sure you fill out all your required fields. Oh, I can straight away see that it's using my new sales process, my B2C sales process. And it's kind of got my page layout. I think this is the same one as what we used before. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. Wonderful. So this is looking really good. Um, I think it looks fantastic. I'm also going to check out my B2B one. So that was my B2C test. And I'm going to just create another opportunity, uh, which is my B2B one, and then just compare them. All right, my B2B opportunity. Next, I'll call this one B2B test. All right, set my close date. Here we go, my stages are a lot bigger in this one. So I just want to choose which one I like, and then save it. And then we're just going to do a bit of a comparison. All right, so on this one, I can see my B2B test once it loads. Let's give it a go. Oh, wakey, wakey. 
which was down there. Just refresh my page. It's all right, Salesforce, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Everything looks okay on this page. We're all doing well. Maybe just a little bit shy. You can do it. Hey, there we go, there we go. So this one has got a completely different sales path. All right, compared to my B2C one. It's also got a bit of a different layout. Okay, so less fields on this one, which is quite nice. Um, and that's how we can go ahead and create different record types. All right, make sure that you create your list views as well, so it's easy to find. Um, and it's also a good idea to add in um, that field about what opportunity type it is. Okay, so all the best with that. I hope it goes well. Let me know how you go, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks heaps.